Dogecoin. Yes. Dogecoin. Now, as you can see on my on my TV screen, hmm. Dogecoin is at 51 cents. Okay. Now, all day today is Friday night, Saturday morning. Mm. It's about what two thirty, three in the morning. Dogecoin been around by what I say by fifty five, fifty four, fifty three all day. Right. So, as you can see right now, by the time we put this out, it might be Tuesday, Wednesday. It be up, down. We don't know. If it if it go down, I'm not tripping out by the dip. Okay. Mm. But right okay. now, as of two thirty in the morning, Saturday morning. It's at fifty one cent, okay. Hmm. So with that said, um, I'm not tripping if it go down. I will buy the dip. If it go up, that's even better, okay. So you want to go first, or I go first? I go first, cause man, let me fall back. Go ahead. I'm gonna just say this. You know, last Saturday when he took a big dip. I messed up. I I messed up. I should have bought more. It went down to 30, I think 37 cents. And I got mm. nervous. I wanted to pull out. But I was like, nah, because if I pull out, I'm going to take an L. That's right. But I wasn't thinking about putting more money into that. I wasn't thinking. I was too overwhelmed of what... I would have lost, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, and then another thing, it went it went up. So, I want to talk about this too. Dogecoin, man, I'm here to stay. I, okay. I, right now, I sold majority of my other stocks from different shareholders. So, I'm waiting on that money to go back to my bank account, and then I'm finna yeah. re- I'm finna put that all into those, man. I'm 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 a hundred percent focused on those right now. Okay. So you tell me how you you know what you've been going through with this. It's been it, it's been scary. It's been a roller it's been a roller coaster ride. Mm. You know, it's been up and down. Okay. Right. Now I just started I just started this. Uh, this is the second week, right? Yeah, week two. So yeah. I'm learning as I go. Mm-hmm. I have a bro- uh, my, another brother-in-law. As far as my brother, I have another brother-in-law. I just found out that he put seventeen hundred dollars on four cents of Dogecoin, and he cashed out and made a profit. Uh, I don't know what he cashed out. I don't know how much. Uh, how much it was when he cashed out, but he cashed out on ten thousand, and he showed it to me. But he did it because he ha- he had to. He needed a car. Somebody hit his car and totaled it. Uh, you know, honestly, I wouldn't have cashed out. I would have found another way to get another car. But he did what he had to do, and he, and this guy been telling me about you know, the game for a long time, and it just went in one ear, not the other. Hmm. So I, I'm hip to the game. My situation, you know, um, I put in at five hundred. I talked about this. I put mm. in at five hundred dollars when it was sixty cent. That mm. was uh, two Wednesdays ago, mm-hmm. maybe Tuesday. And um, I just, I feel, I just feel like I was doing the right thing. Now, uh, SNL night before SNL. Before S N L, maybe like three hours before S N L started, it was sixty seven cent. I put another five hundred on it. Now, when S N L was over, you know, those took a deep dive. I mean, fast, man. And I didn't know. I panicked. I didn't know what to do. I was scared because I'm like, mm. you know, I just put a thousand, man, on this shit. And uh, I felt like I was making the right decision. Right. And then I heard somebody on YouTube say, well, you don't lose. You don't take a loss unless you pull out if you're upside down. Hmm. And I thought about it. You know, it, it went up to damn near 75 cent 
down to maybe 45 cent that night. Don't, you know, I'm not quite sure. But, you know, it went down fast. Yeah. And I'm thinking, well, you know, don't pull out because you're going to be in the hole probably with $300. And I say, nah, it's going to go back up. Just hang in there. Just hang in there. So... It went down to uh, 38 cent, I think two days ago, maybe Wednesday, Thursday, and I just put twenty dollars on 38 cent. So my average right now, I think 63 cent. You know, and again, as you can see, is at 51, 52 cent. So hmm. look, I put a hundred dollars on uh, Cardano. Poly, I put some money on poly, Polygram. I think it's called Polygram. And it was like 146 and 167. And I, I took that money out. And now and now I think it's over two, $2 right now. I should have left it in. So I'm learning. This is my second week in the game. Yeah. And, and I'm, here, I'm here to stay. And I'm a firm believer of uh, buy the dip. I'm not going to get mad if it dip. I, used, <laughs> I was mad when it dipped yeah. last. But... I learned, man, buy the dip. Take advantage of the dip. Take advantage. Man, look, like, man, you told me about, see, I didn't know nothing about Coinbase. Let's talk about the apps that, that you use. Well, I use Robinhood, of course. I use Weeble. I use Acorn, but Acorn is not like you can just pick your stocks. So that don't really count. But then now I, have, I also have Stash as well. Okay. But Coinbase is is something new, and it looks it looks simple to to use. Like, but you told me about it, and you told me about uh, Poly, and what's that other one that I'm thinking about? Cardano. Cardano. Yeah. Okay. So you all the stuff you told me that it can do, where you can we can swap, we can swap what? Yeah, Coinbase app. Coinbase. I'm just playing that because you know. I don't, okay, so I started off with with Robinhood. Because you know, Robinhood, uh, you can buy uh, mm. crypto. You know, you can buy Doge mm-hmm. on Robinhood. Right. So I download, I downloaded um, Coinbase, mm-hmm. and I like Coinbase because it show you, it show you the losers and it show you, uh, you know, the winners, the one that's gaining. Correct. I think it's called gain and losers. So and then Coinbase lets you trade crypto. You know, it lets you, tr- you know, let's just say. Uh, Polygram ain't doing too good. And you want to put, you know, you want to take some of that crypto and put it somewhere else. You can do that. I like that. I I love that. And Hmm. like I told you, the CEO of Coinbase said that in six to eight weeks, they're going to have Doge. Hmm. And and it's going to go up. It's going to spike up again. It's going to spike up because it's people that use Coinbase don't use Robin Hood. Right. You know what I'm saying? So that's good for the people that use Coinbase because now they can get some Dogecoin. Hmm. And like I told you, with Robin Hood, uh, I heard this from several people. The night of SNL, when people was trying to cash out, they couldn't do it. Something was wrong with the with the site. You know. So yeah. um I'm in it for the long ride. If if Doge go up to a dollar, my average is sixty three cent. Let's just say it go up to seventy five cent to eighty five cent. Hmm. Well, that's a big difference. We'll say eighty five cent. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do if it, if I start to see it go back down. I don't know what to do. Like like, I'm still learning. I need um. I, I don't know what to do because a lot of people say, well, when it go up. And it's thought, you know, when it go up, let's just say eighty five cent. You know, a lot of people are probably gonna cash out to 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 collect and yeah. get their profit. Yeah. So I I have to make a decision, you know, collect, get their profit, and then just wait for the dip and just buy again. You see what I'm saying? So yeah, but look, you know, remember I was telling you on the last show, you want to buy when it's cheap, and you also 
Like, okay, you have to put money to get money, right? So once you put the money that you work hard for in it, and then if you gain, you get enough capital, you pull all that out. You can put the money that you started with and put that back in your account. And the money that you gain, you can use that as your leverage now. You see you see how that works? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's... it's <sighs> Hmm? Look, man, I, I ain't mean to cut you off. Nah, you're good. But I, I, you know, I heard a, a lot of people on YouTube that specialize in this game. They, they always say I'm not a financial advisor. Right. In other words, I don't want to be responsible for the moves that you make. I hmm. tell you what I do and what I'm doing. Hmm. You know, but if, if let's take our brother-in-law. Hmm. He put seventeen hundred on four cent. So you sitting here on bringing on by the telling me, if it go up to seventy five cent, you gonna cash that out and get the profit and then rebuy the dip. Yeah, he, wait for wait for. He the started dip. at seven cent. <laughs> yeah, he started at seven cent. Yeah, he's, yeah that was very. You low pulling that out? Yeah. Oof. Cause look, yeah, you're right. Cause who who to say that? Those corn gonna go back to seven cents just for a dip. I think the the most it may file to maybe is twenty eight. It is gonna go right back up. So it's like, damn. Yeah. We, if you got it at seven, we don't know. I'm just speculating. But I don't think it's going back to twenty eight. It went down in the thirties, but it didn't hit yeah. the twenties. I think. I, think, I it. think it's gonna go up to a dollar, and then it might just go to like eighty, and then it's gonna continue yeah. to go up. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's so, how it go. But so th this is what I'm saying. Mm. I'm saying this on bring your own bottle. I don't know what to do as far as again, my average is sixty three cent. Okay. From the looks of it, I mean it's been around at around, you know, fifty one, fifty five, fifty three, fifty you know, all day. So mm. look, if it go to eighty five cent, ninety five dollar we know people are gonna cash out and we gonna see a dip. Hell yeah. Again, yeah. I don't know what to do. I don't know should I cash out. I don't know what to do. It's something by next show, I have it figured out. Cause I've been studying the game. Yeah. I had by next show, I have it figured out. You know, cause I just wanna see profit on my portfolio. I agree. And I'm ready to just leave my job, bro. I, I just hope that mug. Just go up and just don't never go down. Just go up so I can cash out. I'm going to cash out. If, if it's a couple of hundred thousand, I'm cashing okay. out at least half. Yeah, I'm not finna be no fool. And if I know I can. I can what you mean? Some, what you mean by be no fool? What you mean? I don't want to be no fool for it. It's like, okay, I missed the opportunity. And I, what I'm trying to do is set myself up so I don't have to work for nobody. You see what I'm saying? So. Any but a hundred thousand not going. No, that, that ain't no money. It ain't no money. But you, you get what I'm saying. I'm not finna pull the whole thing out. Like I'm talking about a couple of hundred thousand. Let's say I get a three hundred thousand dollar profit. You just, you best believe I'm pulling a hundred thousand out. I'm quitting my job. Dog. I'm just being real because. Damn. No, because I have a. Don't vision. forget about the taxes though. Yeah, I, that's gonna that's eat cool. that shit up, bro. It's cool. You gotta have a plan. Just if you got a plan. You, you'll be okay. Yeah, you got to pay the taxes. What You got paid at the end of the year, beginning of the next following year. You figure some shit out within the, the several months. You see what I'm saying? It's all about, you You got all these rich people, man, living off doing the crazy, the same shit. You know, they, they ain't trying to work for nobody. You know, it's, and then okay. shit, you, you can write off. It's a lot of stuff you can write off. You know, it, it just... You just gotta have a game plan at the end of the day. Like, come on, bro. You can't you can't let that fear. You know, we we ain't we won't we want a big game, but if you get a, a game like three hundred thousand, nigga, come on, bro. You can you can <laughs> you can do something with a hundred thousand of that money and reinvest it to something else or start your own business or buy your own truck, whatever. I'm just saying. You pay your house off. And then hell, you know, push kind of show. Hey, man, look. Hey, you to know, each his own. 
Yeah. You got to do what's best for you. Right. You know, like like whatever you if you pull out at a hundred thousand, that don't mean that the next man gonna do it. So mm. you got to do what's best for you. You know. Yeah. Do you agree? I mean, I I agree because like even old girl, the YouTuber was telling me about. Look, shit, she she a million she a millionaire on paper. <laughs> but if she got that million, you know, you see what I'm saying? So it, it's so, like, so if you was her, you would pull out. If you was her. Man, look, I'll pull half. Like, I'm not trying to be the we one. We go with that the half shit. Half, dog. Like, you don't have to pull all your earnings but, but, but out. Why you have to do that, though? Because you can live off half that. You can take care of your debt. You can yeah. do stuff. Yeah. Hey, but look, the key is to get out of debt, right? But we also want to build, you know, financial wealth. You know, so if I leave some money behind for our kids and, but we, at the end of the day, we still got to get ourselves out, you know, out the hole and, you know, and that's not bad to pull some money out just to handle your business. And if you know what you're doing, you can, okay, you, you, you ain't got no worries. Any, any legitimate businessman gonna always find a way, bro. Whatever it is. I don't know is. about pulling out, man. I mean... <sighs> I'm sorry. Man, look, I, I, you know. Let, let's say you don't pull out. You got you got three hundred thousand. You 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 gain. You don't pull out. Let's just say okay. something happened. Somebody said something wrong, like Elon Musk. Or, let's just say he said something wrong thing. That mud dropped forty percent. What you gonna do? Look, you went. You was already at three hundred thousand. Now you had a hundred thousand. Now you gotta think like, damn, should I? Hey, you can't time the market. You can't. But what if? What if that happens? What if that happens? That's, you gotta think. You can't with them numbers fall. If it down, happens, you that's something you have to live with. Yeah, that's something you have to live with. <laughs> ah, okay. Let's talk about Cardano. Cardano um, and Polygram. I don't I don't know too much about it. I know you told me about it and I only got it so much information off of it, but you know, that's that they only on coin you know, Coinbase, right? They not on no other brokers. Well, I, I don't know about Weibo and the other ones, but I, I you know, I just deal with Coinbase and Robinhood. So Okay. Cardano, um I got faith in Cardano. Okay. Polygram, I'm waiting on the dip. I should have left what I had in there mm -hmm. when I was at around like 167, mm -hmm. and I, I shouldn't have, I should have left it in there. I'm waiting on the dip for Polygram. I got a hundred, maybe 150 on Polygram right now. I'm waiting on the dip. Man, look, I'm, I see, you know, I'm I'm still learning, but with Coinbase, but I see a lot of stuff on Coinbase. It's not able to let you buy i guess because they don't have it available yet that's right it's, yeah so it's a lot of stuff i see on there that's like the 40 cents 50 cent i'm like damn but you can't really just buy it because they don't it, have just, it. it just show you yeah yeah it, even, it's, it's even those coin not on there yet but six to eight weeks yeah it's coming <laughs> it's coming and, um it, I, just, I, it just show you i do want to talk about this though because like what what brokers you know app you prefer to use man i've been using robin hood a lot and then i use weeble but weeble is so complicated because it's like they don't give you you gotta wait to get your money you gotta wait to sell you gotta wait to buy it, it's okay. I don't, it's confusing so you know i'm thinking about deleting weeble <laughs> And what about think, Acorn? I heard you say something well, about Acorn. Acorn see, Acorn is not in this category for us when it's come down to those because Acorn is pretty much they invest the money for you. It's not you can't pick your own okay. stocks, and that sucks. But that's good for beginners. It teaches you how to to, to invest, <laughs> right? But it don't. Have, it's not on a level with Robinhood or you know Coinbase or, or Weeble or Stash. You know, but you got yeah. other sites out there that, you know, um, that people use right, to, right. To, to play the market. But, you know, the most important ones and I like to use is Robin Hood. And okay. I say stash. It's simple on stash, too. 
But who? Stash. It's called Stash. I don't know about that one. You don't know about Stash? No. Nah. Okay. Well, look that up. <laughs> I don't know about that. Like I said, this this I'm week uh two in the game, man. So it's a lot that I don't know. But mm. I'm here to stay. I feel good about the my you know, as far as the game. And uh I wanna learn more about the taxes. You know, I heard you gotta pay taxes on this stuff, man. Yeah. Yeah, look and look, and I wanna quote, because like I said, I didn't know you know last show I said that it's like a black market, but you know, I did do some research and we heard our brother-in-law said the same nah they changed it back in 2017 that's what four years ago so all that bitcoin stuff the government found a way to tap into crypto currencies now it's well, crazy boy the government is like damn they gotta get their money boy look <laughs> do your own research we're not saying yeah. that's a fact that that's what somebody told us just do your own research man because we not financial advisors and uh like i said i'm new to the game so you know if you have the answer to that put that in the comment section as far as the taxes you know what i'm saying and uh also you know what other shareholders you know you you, you know y'all dealing with that you think that's gonna do something you know mm -hmm. so uh polygram cardano and doge <coughs> man i'm riding with them three right now I've been doing my research and uh you know one of them, one of them go I don't know man uh but my main faith is in Doge. That's oh, majority yeah. of my money. I I have another 2000 I want to put on Doge. How much? I have another 2 maybe 3 I want to put on when it's a nice dip. Nice dip. Nice I like, dip. I, I like how you think, bro. Uh, nice dude. Like I said, I'm gonna keep saying it. I I I can't believe I'm actually sitting here with you talking about stocks. I thought, you know, it was a time where we used to talk, and I I kind of make it boring. The conversation get boring when I start talking about stocks. Now it's crazy how to see you and me on the same, you know, talking Look. about stocks, man. I I never thought I would live to see this. <laughs> Look, man, when you have when you have a uh, mortgage, kids, wife. Mm. Car note, you know, you your thinking, you know, should be better than yesterday, you know, as far as finances. You know, I I I have a lot of nice things and it means a lot to, to people that see these things if I display these things, but it don't mean nothing to me. Mm. You know, you can have all these things and be a broke motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? And uh I have tunnel vision. I'm looking, you know, long term, generational mm. wealth. Mm. You know, uh, not only for me, but for my kids and grandkids. Mm. You know, so that that's how I'm thinking. You know, I'm 39 years old. You know, just imagine if I thought this way 10, 20, uh, 15 years ago. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I'd be, yeah, I'd be Einstein. Mm. You know, so... Mm. Like I said, man, it ain't never too late for growth to 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 um you know make a make a change. You cannot have the same mindset of yesterday. You have to make a change mentally. You gotta grow. You know what I'm saying? Again, ain't that look, ain't nothing wrong with having nice things. It's a beautiful, it's a blessing to have nice things, but What's the point of having nice things if, if you broke? No. You know what I'm saying? If you're not investing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? For the people that, that want to stay on their jobs and retire, ain't nothing wrong with that. It's just something that I don't want to do. Mm. I think I'm bigger than the job. Mm. You know, my time is more valuable than the job. Because time you can't get back. So that's why we're talking about this, man. Bring your own bottom. We on a whole different plateau. You know what I'm saying? We out of space with this shit. Hmm. And we don't plan on coming down. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. look. You know, we do research. You know, uh, you see what I got the TV on. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm watching this shit. Look, it's hard to sleep. It's hard. Look, I got to sleep with one eye open to watch yeah. the market. Yeah. Yeah. You know you what I'm saying? Dip. It might be one of them lifetime. It might be a shock drop. 
<laughs> we in this shit, you man. Miss it, yeah. We in this shit, but that, that's all I got, man. Um, you know, I, I'm getting a better understanding on how the game go. Mm. I used to be mad because of the dip, yeah. but I was told buy that dip, buy that goddamn dip, buy that goddamn dip. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, it's just so many people. Talking about Doge, I have faith in Doge, yeah. and I believe it's gonna go. When Doge get to a dollar, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be afraid. I'm not gonna know what to do. I'm mm. not gonna I, I don't I'm a, I don't know if to to leave it in or pull out. Cause I yeah. think if I pull out, how do I know it's gonna get back down to thirty forty? You we don't know that. You can't time the market. Mm. You do not know that. So you have to do what's best for you. Yep. You know. Yeah. It get to a dollar and then people cashing out and they get back down to fifty five cent. You know, how you gonna feel? How you gonna feel? You know, so you gotta do what's best for you. But uh I had nothing else to say. What else you got? Uh, all I'm, my take on it is if you do sell you know, like I said, you, you just don't know. It, it, some people ain't never had that kind of money in their life. So it's like, okay, man, I came up. I came up on a a, a, a 25 cent investment and it's, that tur it turned into 200,000, bro. You, some people don't even know how to react to that, bro. People ain't going to think about, some people just not going to think about saving. Oh, I'm going to wait to see if it goes to me. You know, people got bills. People don't want to be at their day job. You know, it's all kind of reasons. So when it come down to investing, is that's why it's like, okay, what do you do with this money? You know what I'm saying? It's, you know, you, you got to know, you got to have a game plan. And that's all I was saying earlier is like, you just got to have a game plan when it come down to that because, you know, that's a lot of money to mismanage. You know, it's your loss at the end of the day. You just gotta make the right decisions for yourself, you right? Know, so especially if you got a family, you gotta make the right decision, man. Cause the bases are loaded, man. You got three, three balls, two strikes, two outs. What you gonna do? It's your call. Yeah, so Elon Musk, man, go ahead and uh, make an announcement. You know, uh, you can buy a Tesla with Dogecoin. You know, something. Yeah, I'm finna buy me a motherfucking Tesla for real. <laughs> You got me leaving the house going to work. You yeah. know, I'm looking down at my pants and my pants look like a circus tent. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I'm looking down at my pants. You see what I'm saying? Look like a crowbar about yeah. to bust through the goddamn zipper. Say fucking with you. Nigga. <laughs> Look, man, sex is, is very, 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 very important, man. And marriage yeah. 